Once you've outlined your brand's key visual elements, you don't want to go hunting for them every time you open a new design. That's where the Canva Brand Kit comes in. It allows you to store your brand fonts, colors, and logos in one place so you can stay consistent without the extra effort. Brand consistency is one of the easiest ways to create a polished and professional look for your business, and Canva's Brand Kit feature makes it simple to maintain that consistency across all of your marketing materials. If you've ever found yourself manually reapplying your brand colors or trying to remember which fonts you used last time, the Brand Kit is about to make your life a whole lot easier. When you're consistently using the same fonts, colors, and design elements across all your marketing materials, whether it's Instagram posts, lead magnets, or your website, it helps build recognition and trust with your audience. Without a brand kit, it's easy to make small but noticeable mistakes, like using a slightly different shade of blue or defaulting to a generic font that doesn't match your brand identity. These small inconsistencies can add up making your brand look less polished. By setting up a brand kit in Canva, you're not only saving time, but also ensuring that every design you create is visually aligned with your brand. And a quick note, Canva's brand kit feature is available exclusively for Canva Pro and Teams users. If you're currently on the free version, you can try Canva Pro free at brandacadman.com forward slash pro. If you decide not to continue after the free trial, any brand kits you create will still be there if you upgrade again in the future. Before setting up your brand kit in Canva, it helps to have all your brand assets organized. The specific items you'll need will depend on whether you already have a professionally designed brand or if you're creating a brand from scratch. If you've worked with a professional designer or branding specialist, you're already ahead of the game. Having a professionally designed brand means that many of the decisions about colors, fonts, and logo variations have already been made for you, making it easier to get set up in Canva. Before setting up your brand kit, ensure you have all your essential brand assets organized. Start with high quality ping or SVG versions of your logo, ensuring you have variations such as a full color version plus a white or light version for dark backgrounds. Additionally, having different orientations such as a stacked or horizontal version can also be helpful. Next, gather the exact hex codes for each of your brand colors to maintain consistency across all your designs. A hex code is a six-digit alphanumeric code that represents a specific color. For example, pure black is represented as pound and six zeros, while white is pound and six Fs. Using hex codes ensures that you are applying the exact same colors across all all your marketing materials, preventing unintentional variations that can make your branding look inconsistent. Identify the fonts used in your branding. If your brand uses specific fonts that aren't available in Canva's library, you'll need to upload the font files, typically in OTF or TTF format. Finally, compile any brand-specific imagery such as graphics, icons, or photography to complete your cohesive brand identity within Canva. These could include your brand photos, headshots, custom patterns, branded textures, or unique visual elements that set your brand apart. If your brand uses specific iconography or stock images consistently, having them stored in your brand kit will streamline your design process and ensure visual uniformity. If you don't have a professionally designed brand yet, that's okay. Canva provides everything you need to create a simple and effective starter brand that aligns with your business. While investing in a professional brand designer is incredibly valuable when your business is ready, many new business owners begin with a DIY approach using Canva so they can establish brand consistency early on. A professionally designed brand is created based on strategic decisions that ensure long-term success. A designer will consider your brand personality, brand values, brand voice, an ideal audience, carefully selecting colors, fonts, and imagery that align with your messaging and positioning in the market. However, if you're in the early stages of your business and not yet ready to invest in professional branding, you can still build a cohesive and visually appealing presence using Canva. In my How to Create Your Brand in Canva video, I walk you through selecting a color palette, choosing fonts that match your brand style, and designing a basic logo to get started. This isn't a replacement for a professionally developed brand, but it's an excellent option for those who need a functional, visually consistent brand identity while growing their business. And you can find a link to that video training in the description below this video. Once you've organized your brand elements, you can then add them to your Canva brand kit for easy access in all your designs. Start by navigating to the brand section in Canva, which can be found in the left-hand menu on your Canva homepage. 
If you've set up your brand kit in the past, either fully or partially, you may already see an initial brand kit option here that looks partially branded with your logo and or colors. But if it's the first time you're setting it up, you will likely see a blank brand kit for you to start with. And when you open it up, all of the brand ingredients that make up the brand kit will be empty, ready for you to upload your own content into them. You'll see the brand kit page is broken down into eight sections, your brand logos, your colors, your fonts, brand voice, photos, graphics, icons, and charts. When you create a brand kit for the first time, you'll see that you can click to add your logo or simply drag and drop your logo image file. And if you upload logos to your brand kit that you no longer need, you can easily delete them by hovering over the logo, clicking on the three dots, and choosing delete. So let me show you where you're going to find those logos when you are creating a design in Canvas design editor. You're going to be able to find those logos inside of the brand area, which is available on your left hand navigation. And inside that brand area, you'll have access to all of your logos at your fingertips. When you create a new brand kit, Canva will likely have already created an empty color palette underneath this colors area. I can rename it by hovering over the title and clicking on the pencil icon, and then I'll give this palette a new name. And then you're gonna add your colors by inputting your color hex codes, which you should have already compiled in advance of creating your brand kit. If you need to remove any of the colors, hover over the color you want to delete, and then just click on the X button. If you want to make a copy of a specific palette, you can click on the three dots and choose to make a copy. And you'll also see that you can copy it to another brand kit. Note that at this time you cannot reorder your colors later. So try to add them in the order that you want to have them appear in the palette. Then once you have your palette set up, when you open up a design, you'll see that you can easily access your brand's colors directly from the color selection tool. And if you have multiple color palettes, they'll all show up here as well. When you're setting up your fonts in a new brand kit, you're going to be able to select the font you want for each style and also change the size and formatting of it, if that's part of your brand's typography. Then when you're working on a design in Canva, you'll be able to access your brand kit fonts through the font selection tool. If the font you use for your brand isn't already included in Canva's list, you also have the ability to upload your own fonts. You can do this by clicking on add new and selecting upload a font. So I'll upload a custom font and you'll notice that when you upload a new font, Canva is going to ask you to confirm that you have the rights to use it. That means if you're using a font you downloaded without paying for it, and it's something that should have been purchased or is marked as personal use only, you need to make sure you have the correct licensing before uploading it to Canva. Once it's uploaded, it'll be listed under your uploaded font section when you're working on a design. Your brand voice is how your business sounds in written and spoken communication. It's what makes your content feel like you, whether someone is reading an email from you, watching one of your videos, or listening to you on a podcast. Your brand's voice should be consistent across all platforms so that no matter where your audience encounters your content, they immediately recognize and connect with it. For example, my own brand voice is warm and educational. I want my videos, emails, and course materials to sound the same as I would if I were being interviewed on a podcast or presenting a live training. That consistency builds trust with my audience because they always know what to expect from me, whether they're reading something I've written or hearing me speak. Your brand voice in Canva isn't just a helpful reference. It also integrates with Canva's Magic Write feature, an AI-powered writing assistant. When you document your brand voice in your Canva brand kit, Magic Write will use your tone and style preferences to generate text that aligns with your established voice. In order to add your brand voice to Canva, go to the brand section and locate the brand voice area. Click add your brand voice to start defining how your brand communicates. You'll have space to document key elements, including your brand personality. Describe how your brand should come across in writing. Is it warm and conversational, confident and authoritative, fun and playful? your tone and style guidelines. You can outline specific preferences, such as using casual language or keeping things more formal. Do you use emojis, short and punchy sentences, key phrases and messaging, list words, phrases, or taglines that you want to use consistently or words to avoid, audience considerations, define who you're speaking to and how your messaging should resonate with them. 
For example, a health and wellness coach might have a brand voice statement like this. Our brand voice is encouraging, supporting, and uplifting. We speak to our audience like a trusted friend, using simple and relatable language that makes healthy living feel approachable. We avoid strict or judgmental language and instead focus on small, achievable steps that empower people to take control of their well-being. Or a boutique marketing agency might define theirs this way. Our brand voice is bold, strategic, and insightful. We are confident and knowledgeable, delivering expert marketing insights with a touch of wit. Our messaging is professional yet approachable, using industry language in a way that feels engaging rather than overwhelming. We challenge conventional thinking while making complex marketing strategies easy to understand. Your brand's imagery plays a key role in creating a consistent and recognizable visual identity. Canva's brand kit allows you to upload and store essential brand visuals, making them easily accessible whenever you're designing. Inside your brand kit, you can upload branded photos. These might include professional headshots, product images, or signature brand photography that you use frequently in your marketing. Custom graphics. This could be branded textures, patterns, or illustrations that you incorporate regularly in your designs. Brand icons. If your brand uses specific icons to represent services, product categories, or brand elements, you can store them here for quick access. Adding these visuals to your brand kit ensures that they are always at your fingertips when creating new designs, eliminating the need to repeatedly upload or search for them. Uploading your brand imagery is simple. Navigate to the brand section in Canva, locate the photos, graphics, or icons sections within your brand kit, click upload, and select your images or drag and drop them directly into the designated area. And once uploaded, your images will be available whenever you create a design allowing you to easily apply them without searching through multiple files. While Canva's brand kit is a great place to store core brand visuals, not everything needs to live there. Some assets make more sense to keep in a custom brand assets folder instead. Your brand kit is usually best for logos, color palettes, fonts, and imagery that is used across all of your designs for brand consistency. And photos, graphics, and icons that are fundamental to your brand identity and are used repeatedly across your marketing materials. A custom folder is typically best for general stock images or background textures that you like to use, but that aren't essential to your brand identity. One-time use or campaign-specific images that don't need to be in every design. Or a broader library of supporting graphics that you might use occasionally but don't need cluttering up your brand kit. By keeping your brand imagery organized within your brand kit and custom folders, you'll streamline your design process and ensure that every piece of content reflects a consistent, polished brand identity. In your brand kit, you'll see a section labeled Charts, which is where you can set a dedicated color palette for any charts you create in Canva. It's kept separate from your regular brand colors because sometimes charts will need more distinct shades to keep categories easy to tell apart and your data easy to read. Unlike your main brand palette, which may only include a handful of core colors, charts can often call for more variety. For example, a pie chart or stacked bar chart can quickly become confusing if the same few brand colors are repeated across multiple categories. By setting up a chart palette, you're ensuring that every chart you create is not only on brand, but also clear and legible. A dedicated chart palette also helps with accessibility since some brand colors may look great in logos or marketing graphics, but be too dark or too light when applied to thin lines or small chart segments. Canva will even warn you if you try to add very light shades to your chart palette since they can be hard to see against a white background. To add or update your chart colors, you'll want to open your brand kit and scroll down to the chart section. Then click to add the colors you want Canva to use for your charts in the same way that you did to add your main brand colors. Your chart colors might include your main brand colors, along with complementary shades that give you enough variety for multi-category charts. Once your chart colors are set, Canva will automatically apply them to any new charts you create. And if you ever need to make changes, you can return to the chart section of your brand kit at any time to adjust your palette. If you don't set up a chart palette, Canva will default to its own color selections, which you will then need to manually change. So taking a few minutes to define your chart colors ensures your reports, presentations, and infographics look consistent with your visual identity while keeping your data easy to understand and saving your design time.
Now that we've covered the different elements you can set up inside the brand kit, let's talk about how Canva makes it possible to create multiple brand kits. There are several scenarios where multiple brand kits can be beneficial. If you run multiple businesses or have different projects that require distinct branding, creating separate brand kits ensures that each one maintains its own unique identity. For business owners who serve multiple clients, such as virtual assistants, social media managers, graphic designers, or marketing agencies, having individual brand kits for each client simplifies workflow and keeps brand assets easily accessible without confusion. Additionally, if your business has sub-brands, product lines, or multiple divisions that require their own visual identity, separate brand kits allows you to maintain consistency within each segment while keeping them organized in your Canva account. To create an additional brand kit in Canva, start by navigating to the brand kit section within your Canva account. Once there, you will see an option to create a new brand kit. Click on this option and follow the same process as setting up your first brand kit, uploading your logos, setting your brand colors by entering their hex codes, selecting the appropriate brand fonts, and adding any essential brand specific imagery. So how do you access multiple brand kits within a design? Let's open up a test design and take a look. I can access any of my brand kits via the brand section in the left side navigation. This is where all of my stored branding elements are conveniently located for easy access. But if I want to switch my Canva account to work from a different brand kit, I can simply click on the arrow to reveal a list of all my brand kits. I can scroll through them or use the search function to find a specific brand kit by keyword. By setting up multiple brand kits, you can ensure that all of your branding assets are neatly categorized, making it easy to switch between them as needed when designing different materials. The brand kit is one of the biggest reasons to upgrade to Canva Pro. If you want to try Canva Pro for free, you can sign up for a trial at zero cost at brendacadman.com forward slash pro. And now that you know how to set up your brand kit, take a few minutes to get yours organized. It will save you a ton of time and make your designs more cohesive in the long run. With your brand kit in place, it becomes a lot easier to keep things consistent, especially when you're working with templates. Let's take a look at how to choose Canva templates that work well for your business and give you a head start on your content creation. So that's how to set up your Canva brand kit and taking the time to put this into place ensures your fonts, colors, logos, and imagery are always available right at your fingertips, which saves you time and keeps your designs consistent. Whether you're working on your own projects or collaborating with a team, having a properly set up brand kit makes Canva faster, easier, and far less frustrating to use. If you haven't upgraded to Canva Pro yet, I encourage you to give it a try and see how Canva's premium features can help you design content more easily and efficiently. You can try Canva Pro for free at brendacadman.com forward slash pro.